Alright, so in the past days, um, I've been focusing a lot on the Twitch drama between Pokimane and Fedmeister. And apparently, Poke um, Fedmeister came through with discussion or topic of discussion. Basically, there was a 25 page document that he wrote discussing the whole drama that there was before and basically debunked all types of theories or false false facts that were spoken by Pokimane throughout the entire drama and hearing it I, I watched a Pegasus video Pegasus is really good I'll link the video down below but basically Pegasus described it as her twisting the truth and so did Fedmeister in the 25 page document that he wrote and um, today I'm just going to be getting into that and maybe giving you guys a little read on what it is and give you my little two cents on what the issue is, but besides that, besides that, do do me the favor of leaving me a like, subscribing, turning on post notifications, and roll the intro. <laughs> Okay, so it's been a couple days since this drama came out. Um, I, I know I'm pretty late to it, and I know I'm pretty late for the upload. I was supposed to upload earlier than this, but honestly, I haven't had a lot of time. I've been enjoying a little... I just, I've just finished school, so I've been enjoying a lot of time with my friends. Online, we've been playing stuff like, you know, Brawlhalla, you know, basic esports, but without further ado, let's just get into the video. I'm basically going to be reading a little bit from the from the let, met letter that he wrote, wrote it's a 25 page document, but I'm obviously not going to be reading everything. But let's just start off with the introduction and apology. Okay, so he says, Been a while, it's about two months now. I know a lot of you are angry, sad, and disappointed, and certainly have the right to be. I did some doo doo things and they went unchecked for a long time so I, can't, I guess right now he's busy like just accepting the fact that he was wrong for some of the things that he did but he's like after some low moments I better, I'm better I'm a better place now I've been seeing a, lo a really good therapist nearly twice a week and has his suggestion taking away taking time away from social media okay so he's just staying away from the toxicity I would too Honestly, I would too, because I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of the sims went for him. And I, honestly, con after considering watching the Pegasus video, I'm sure he pretty much didn't deserve it, but let's carry on. Um, throughout the entire absence, I've been doing some. Okay. My actions surrounding Yv Yvonne and Lily into the categories. I can't begin to explain how sorry I am for hurting them and ultimately jeopardizing our relationship. The consequences of my actions towards them have been miserable but, appro but appropriate. Every day I wake, uh, wake up and recall how nice it was being surrounded by loving friends and how stupid I was to let my actions betray their trust. I deserved it though. These actions have um, ha have had to have consequences. Okay, basically here, he's just, you know, highlighting the fact that he's not completely wrong, but he just wants, okay, let's just, let's carry on. I just want to say first that I, this has nothing to do with me coming back to streaming after a, a tremendous amount of time, after a tremendous amount of therapy. I'm here to shed some light on and give a timeline of my side of things, since it has now become a public matter. I have already apologized to Yvonne and Lily privately, and this statement will no, it will in no way contradict their stories. Instead, the purpose is to ad address the individuals that I believe are twisting the truth, and for their own benefit, for my own health, I cannot stay silent any longer. Uh, let's move on. I never wanted a bonfire. Okay. In her stream, Pokey says that I tried getting a bonfire because of an incident between us. This was 100% false. I never tried to get her fired. I always wanted her to, to wanted her part of OTV. Just to reference, the incident between me and Yvonne was a, was in December of 2018. We were all talking about having her move in with the, with other league streamers in or in October 2019. While she continued to work for OTV, Pokey claimed she hadn't known about this incident between me and Yvonne, but she did. She found out in May, June 2019, 
four months before we all started to discuss Yvonne possibly moving out. I'll go into more details later, but we'll give more context. Okay, originally Yvonne moved out of the house in mid-2018 to be Pokey's personal assistant to OTV, house manager. Things were good at first, but over time Pokey would complain about Yvonne in private to me about how little she she's showing when it comes to her helping her. She would call her lazy and not creative. Pokey really wanted someone to give 110% and it was made clear to her that she was doing the bare minimum. She would complain about how much she's playing league or that she's starting a stream. At one point, Iman made, um, Yvonne made a YouTube channel with one video and this made Pokemon, Pokey, 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 Pokemon, oh my goodness, Pokemane, or Pokey, let me just stick with Pokey, Pokey very concerned to the point where she called her private, called her for a private meeting. That meeting Yvonne was honest and said she hasn't, she wasn't super interested in also claiming a video a YouTube channel. Also claiming the video on her YouTube channel at the time was just for personal memories in being a creator Okay, so basically she wasn't interested in being a creator um, But she wanted the, the pin option to do it in her free time I'm Not sure what the other details were discussed, but Yvonne stopped posting on YouTube for video videos for a long time With this I want to establish that Pokemate, Pokey felt Yvonne had less had work ethic issues and Pokey brought this to my awareness. Okay. So. Yeah, I think a lot of this is mostly personal stuff, but I can just say. Oh, okay. Pokey wanted Devon fired. Okay, let's read this quickly. Um, so, this is where the thing really. Things get. Things where. So, this is where things get really dicey. We move into the new house and we have a remote assistant. She's doing an awesome job really uh, helping accelerate our projects and run errands for me that I would otherwise not have to do since I was streaming again. Yvonne, since her primary focus was, mer was merch, had a lot of free time. So naturally started doing streaming a lot more regularly and making YouTube videos, something she really wanted to do. And I was happy we we found more little, more we found a middle ground for her truly honestly okay this is good this is sweet you know it's, it's nice it's nice to do it it's nice to do what some it's nice to do something that makes you happy it is nice to do something that makes you happy i'm glad yvonne found something that made her happy but let's go some months pass and i get a text from pokey with screenshots of her conversations with lily where she brings up concerns about yvonne becoming a content creator i responded by saying i thought you were cool with her going to the content creator route. She responds with no, she started com complaining that she was getting sponsor deals post- Okay, 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 pause. Don't y'all find it weird how Pokemon attacks people once they get sponsored? Like, just a few months ago, it was- it's the Gundam. Now it's- now- now, now we find out that she also did that to Avon? Nah, G, nah, G. Nah, she's on some other things, bro. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, guys. Okay, back to the video, guys. Give me a kiss. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna, chicken and macaroni, kicking it with my homies. Sing on YouTube, etc. She said it's very weird, the mouth. It, it, it's very weird. I think. It was obvious Yvonne wanted to go down the content creator route and it and it it had been the way for months. While I agree it would have been a great good moment to step up, we never made any other desires. Is this nigga serious? May, never made any of the des those desires clear to her. Pokey suggested getting together and making a decision as a group. She first brought up Lily to the, to me and finally Toast. She was she was then went as far as to suggest the idea that we get a full time house manager. That as a result, Yvonne would be kicked. Okay, I would show. I should. <laughs> Overall, 
it's clear Poké and I had a very volatile relationship and I'm certainly guilty of being inconsiderate, oversharing and breaking her trust, but I hope this new information sheds light on uh, any points trying to be manipulative, Poké making friends. I never wanted to vent uh, Yvonne fired. It horrifies me how much uh, how mu how long misinformation about me and character have been out there. Like I said, there have been some issues, uh, progress, a lot of blah uh, blah 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 I am not the person she described. Okay, I think uh, honestly, there's way more to this. There's way more context, which is why I'm going to link the po the Pegasus video because I am horrible. Uh, at, at telling stories and reading and this was way too long so um, yeah if you guys want a clear video um, you'll find one in the link below uh, but without um, with that out of the way let's just um, leave it at uh, hoes gonna be hoes uh, like the video subscribe turn on post notifications peace um, Lizzie Gobbler.